Hello friends, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. I am so glad you're here because tonight we're making freezer meals. Caribbean? Caribbean. Caribbean? Wow. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a professional. Da -da -da -da. We are heading out of town for like three weeks. This is our summer vacation. And when I get back, I want meals ready to go for us when we start hitting the ground running. We have summer sports, summer school, and then I'm gonna be jumping right back in my apron filming for you all. So I wanna have meals ready to go as we get back into the swing of things after vacation. So when I looked through my freezer, I found some chicken breasts in here that need to get used up. So there are, three huge breasts in here and I have this sauce that was open in our refrigerator that needs to get used up we're not going to be home for a while so this is the sugar-free teriyaki marinade so we're going to uh, marinate those in there and then we can have sandwiches um, put it on salads I was at the store today to pick up one loaf of bread and milk for the few days that we're home they have these chicken drumsticks on sale for 88 cents a pound and then from my Walmart haul, if you guys remember. I picked up this Caribbean style jerk marinade. So that's gonna go with this and then we'll end up barbecuing this up. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And then I have, um, it says breasts on the bag, but it's not, it's chicken thighs and I wanna use these up, um, right? Cause I, they're starting to get some frost on them. So with this packet, you know, I have a hard time saying this, a uh, juice gravy, did I say that right? We are going to make uh, Mississippi chicken and you also need a ranch packet. Okay, I have this big package here of chicken breast. So in the refrigerator, I had some Olive Garden Italian dressing that I needed to use up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take three of these big breasts, slice them into tenderloins, pour this in there so that way we could grill it up for salads wraps things like that and then the other breasts we're going to put in a freezer ziploc bag and i'm going to write on it for chicken salad sandwiches we love chicken salad sandwiches we have them all the time especially in the summer so i could just mark on there for chicken salad these chicken drumsticks again 88 cents a pound hello we have this bottle of uh, barbecue sauce that was open in the fridge uh, we gotta use this up. This is the sugar-free hickory from D. Hughes. Yum. So I have this flank steak in my freezer. I'm gonna probably open up this zesty Italian here um, and use it up as a marinade. I don't know if I'm gonna use the whole bottle with it. That's a lot. Um, but we'll see what I end up doing. I had another big flank steak in the fridge. So we're gonna use this marinade here the steak and chop marinade from Laurie's and we're gonna and it has garlic and cracked black pepper oh yum so that is going to be put together and throw back thrown back into the freezer here on this side of the counter we're gonna make a tater tot casserole uh, I've got two pounds of ground beef I might need more um, cream of chicken and cream of mushroom we'll see I haven't made this in a while so we're gonna make this, cause these were in my freezer. I searched through my freezer and I found a bag of tater tots. So we're gonna do tater tot casserole. I had all this stuff in our food storage room. If you wanna see my food storage room, long-term food storage and my short-term food storage, I'll leave the links below. So I grabbed evaporated milk, cream of celery, and cream of mushroom. I, not, I might need more of those, we will see. And then we're going to make a lasagna, and we're not even gonna boil the noodles. Oh no, when it goes in your freezer, you do not need to boil your noodles. And these, my friend, are normal noodles. Um, they bake up perfect when frozen. There's tons of moisture that's in here. You're gonna be good to go. So, in my food storage room, I had a box of lasagna noodles. I also had two bottles of the Bertoli organic um, spaghetti sauces, so we have that. In my refrigerator, I had some ricotta cheese. I always have ricotta cheese on hand, always, along with mozzarella cheese. Last but not least, we're gonna take these bone-in chicken thighs and we're gonna make pesto ranch chicken. And that's all you need right there, folks. It's delicious, it's a hit in our family. So good. Um, this is an easy slow cooker meal. Throw it in, it is delicious. So I'm going to take the skin off of these. So our meals are pesto ranch chicken, lasagna, 
tater tot casserole, marinated steak and chopped flank steak, a zesty Italian flank steak, Mississippi chicken, chicken salad sandwiches, normal breasts going back in the freezer, and marinated Italian chicken, barbecue chicken drumsticks, Caribbean style jerk marinated drumsticks, and marinated sugar-free teriyaki sauce chicken breasts that we can use on salads, any side dish for lunch, whatever. So the only thing that I'm gonna be cooking is a tater tot casserole, that's it. That is it. All right, friends, if you want to make freezer meals along with me, go look through your freezer, your pantry, see what you got going, get in your apron. Are you ready? Aprons on, let's go. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is start browning my ground beef for that tater tot casserole. All right, guys, you're gonna have to see my light in some of these shots, because <laughs> I'm I'm dual cameraing it tonight. I'm such a professional. <laughs> Not from this angle, the other angle, fantastic. All right, so what I'm gonna do is brown up this ground beef. I gotta check the recipe. I'm not sure if I also do it with the onions as well. It's been a long time since I've done this recipe. And it's such a hit. I first discovered this recipe from the Duggars. Their recipe is very boring. The first time I made this, I'm like, this is boring. So um, they just have ground beef, salt, and pepper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut up some onions um, and cook it with this, I think. And I also have a green pepper on that tray and I think I also add green pepper and celery. I do have a video, a very old video on this that you can watch, um, but yeah. I just took the bases of the Duggars and frankly made it better, so. This is the only recipe that's going to take chopping tonight. That's it, that is it. Everything else is dump and go. I have two more onions to use up before we leave, so. Um, I don't have any other recipe to put them in with. Maybe I'll just chop them up and throw them in the freezer. Okay, now I'm gonna get the green pepper chopped and put in here. All right, I'm gonna do a half a green pepper. That looks good. And the leftover pepper I will freeze. All right, I'm gonna chop up some celery, but first we're gonna season this. We're gonna do salt, pepper, and some garlic powder. We could put fresh garlic in here, but I'm feeling a little lazy and don't want to crush the garlic. All right, that's going in. When this is done, I'm gonna drain the fat and then we'll get it in our casserole pan. But this still has a little more ways to go it's still pink i'll let that go for a few more minutes let's start on another meal all right i do have those ziploc bag holders but sometimes just using a bowl is easy so i just um rode on this bag teriyaki chicken breast i'm gonna throw these chicken breasts in i gotta hurry and get these in the freezer and we have stir fry vegetables and everything in our freezer so when we get home, we can make a yummy stir fry. I need to wash my hands. Oh, that smells so good. Okay, I'm just gonna pour that over. Yum. So what we could do is grill these. You can have it in a wrap, a salad, sting veggies and rice, whatever. It'll be delicious, so. When it starts thawing out, when I take it out of the fridge, it'll be marinating in this teriyaki. It'll be so good. Freezer meal number one, done. All right, on this bag, I'm going to write zesty Italian flank steak. Okay, so I'm gonna take it out of here. Wash my hands. 
finish with the leftover of this marinade, even though I'm opening it and leaving it in the refrigerator while we're gone. It's gonna do fine for the three weeks. And when we get home and I menu plan, um, we'll make a pasta salad and have it. And then when we wanna have this, take it out, thaw it out, let it marinate, and we'll grill it up and have yummy, zesty Italian. You can have that in a sandwich, on a salad. More than likely, this is gonna be our steak salad. Now, if I was making this for long term, I would use my food saver and use a food saver bag and use my machine to get all the air out. But these meals are all for right when we get home. So this will do fine for the three weeks. But if I wanted to freeze it for three months, I would use my food saver machine. So there we go. Freezer meal number two, done. The next meal we're gonna do is Mississippi chicken. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. And this is the slow cooker. I forgot that I have this bag the chickens in, so I'll save this Ziploc bag for another time. I'll go put it in the drawer for the next time I make Mississippi chicken. I'm gonna double this sauce for the amount of chicken thighs that I have. So I need six of these. One, two, three, four, five, and thank goodness I have lots of those packets. So I'll need another one of those. Put that in there. Quick, easy, dump, done freezer meals. And they're delicious. This, have you guys had this over a roast in your slow cooker? Oh my gosh. I do have a video on sliders, how you can make Mississippi sliders. They're so good. This is the interesting thing. You put your chicken in the slow cooker and put the seasonings on top. I'm gonna do something a little different and I'm just gonna pour all this on. Even though there's nothing to keep it wet, it's fine. When I take it out of the freezer, and throw it in the slow cooker, it's all gonna combine, it's gonna be great, it's all gonna cook together. So then I'm gonna throw in my pepperoncinis, I already have one in there, so two, three, four, five, six, so I'm gonna put 12 in here. All right, now we need some butter. So you need a half a stick of butter. So I'm gonna need two half sticks. So I'm just gonna take this one and just cube it up like this. All right, so finding all these little cubes I need to use up before I go. So we'll do this one. This one's a little bit of Kerry Gold. Forget the generic butter. We're gonna put a little Kerry Gold butter in there. Oh yes. We got Mississippi chicken ready to go. Throw it in the slow cooker. I have a full video on this. Now when it unthaws and everything and I want to put it in the slow cooker, I'll make sure I scrape this bag good to get the stuff in it. So I'm gonna put Mississippi chicken. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I, Mississippi chicken. Um, low four to five hours. There we go. All right, guys. These chicken thighs are gonna get used up when we get home. Bam, going in the freezer. Freezer meal number three. All right, I'm gonna write flank steak on this bag, steak and chop marinade, and we'll get this going. Get it all in the bag. Oh, this smells so good. Oh my word. In here, oh yeah. Just get it all in there. Nice. Oh, this smells so good. I'm gonna do my best to get the air out. I marinated flank steak, garlic cracked pepper, going in the freezer, freezer meal number four. So my 
beef cooled down. So now we're gonna make the mixture. So what we're gonna do is get our cream sauces. I am gonna double now that I remember everything because I do put a layer of the cream sauce on top of the beef and then when I put the tater tots on top, I do another layer of the sauce. So I do wanna double the cream of celery and the cream of mushroom. Are you making that, um, what is it called again? Tater tot casserole? Yeah. We haven't had this for a long time. I know, time. we haven't had it for a long time. It's gonna be delicious. Boston, my 14 year old, is helping. No, I always wanna, you're almost 14 after the summer. Yeah. I'm in Boston, my 13 year old, even though he sounds much older, is helping me behind the camera. All right, so I'm just going to pour all my soups and my evaporated milk in the bowl and we'll mix it. But I have a feeling that I grabbed too small of a bowl. Oh well, I didn't say we weren't gonna have dishes. Always happens, that's okay. All right, and then the cream of celery. I love the flavor of the cream of celery much better than cream of chicken. So, my kids seem to also. All right, I gotta shake this evaporated milk really good. So you need that. Pour this in. Okay, I'm gonna put a layer on top. And that's something I noticed that the Duggar recipe doesn't do. Makes it kind of really dry, actually. Okay, layer that. Put a little more. All right. Boom. Now grab your bag of frozen tater tots. Might have thought a little in the process. That's okay. They'll be fine. Spread them out. This was a two pound bag. I do want to hit the top with some seasoned salt. Just a little. And then you just kind of spread it over. Kind of like squeeze it in. So not all spots get the sauce and some spots do. I'm going to wrap this in saran wrap, then the foil. But when it's time to cook, I'm gonna take the foil off and then take the saran wrap off. We cannot bake with this on. This is just adding like a layer of protection when in the freezer. This is my freezer meal binder. I have a lot of freezer meals that are not in here. Things kind of got destroyed when I created my daughter's cookbook for her and her husband as a Christmas gift. In here in the back, I've created with the Avery stickers, like their labels, I've created stickers or labels to go on to all of my freezer meals. Stickers for shepherd's pie, Meatloaf, I need to print off another one, I have one left. Chicken enchiladas, tater top casserole, we're gonna use one of these uh, tonight. And taco meat and sloppy joes. It has all the directions, cooking time and everything. So I do need to make up more, we have more go-to freezer meals, so I do need to make up some different tags, but this is what I do. Okay, boom, tag goes on. I'll do it this way so you can see it. The tater tot casserole. So meal number five, tater tot casserole, done. Meal number six, is that what we're on? All right, it's time to marinate these chicken drumsticks. The first marinade we're gonna do with the chicken drumsticks is the Caribbean style jerk marinade. So I'm gonna write that on my Ziploc bag. But we're gonna keep the skin on these because when they're on the grill and that crispy skin, mm. Hopefully we won't have any fires when we cook this up. The last time I had marinated chicken, the grill just like, poof, 
So we don't want that to happen again. We'll make sure our, our grill's nice and clean. We loved grilled chicken. One of our favorite things to grill up are like the chicken leg quarters. Mm. Oh, we only do that when we find a really good sale on them, but we love barbecuing them up, especially at like family parties. Just so good. Now let's get this yummy marinade all in there. All right, let's pour this in our bag. Get all this air out as best as I can. And bam. This is gonna marinate, it's gonna be so good. Yummy, delicious. Okay, I've lost count on what number we're on. But this is going in the freezer. All right, the next one we're gonna do is marinate some um, chicken drumsticks with the sugar-free barbecue sauce from D. Hughes. And this is the hickory flavor. Mmm, yummy. Okay, so on my bag, I'm going to put um, hickory, BBQ, drumsticks. One of the great things about grilling in the summer outside is that you're not heating up your house. I love doing slow cooker meals in the summer too because it doesn't heat up the house. I try not to use my oven as much during the summer. What do you love cooking up in the summertime? What is like maybe one of your go-to go to grilled food, like meals, I would love to know. Leave it in the comments below. There, this whole can got used, won't go to waste in the fridge while we're gone. Get the air out as best as I can. Uh-oh. Now I have some barbecue sauce coming out of the seal here. I wanna make sure that I wipe that so it doesn't disturb the seal and ruin what's in there. like a week and a half of meals when we get back. That's awesome. Another one going to the freezer. Next we're gonna do the lasagna. It's pretty basic, boring, no meat sauce, no sausage, plain lasagna. So basic recipe, whole thing of this. This is a uh, 30, one pound, 14 ounces. Nope, I think my cheese went bad. It was partially open. Scratch the lasagna because it was open just a little because I had it on its side in the refrigerator and this popped open and now it's all dry and ucky. So that is a bummer. I always have ricotta cheese on hand and I've never had anything happen like that. So no lasagna, that's fine. I still think with splitting that packaged chicken, I still have 10 meals. So, because it would have been 11 with the um, lasagna. So no lasagna, that is fine. All right, let's move on to some more chicken dishes. So because this chicken is bone in, skin on, this would be really yummy on the grill instead of taking the skin off and making the ranch, pesto ranch um, chicken. So this needs to go in the freezer if we're not using it in the next couple of days, which we're not. Before I do that, I'm gonna divide this. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge and at the end, we'll divide that up into um, in half because then we could use that for two meals when we get back. So um, we decided, Derek and I had a little discussion, a little powwow, that we're gonna take the rest of this Zesty Italian and another bottle of, this is a new one, Zesty Robusto Italian, and we're gonna marinate this in that and then we can grill it. So this is not gonna fit all in a gallon Ziploc bag. I used to have 
two gallon Ziploc bags for freezer meals, but I'm out. So we're gonna divide um, all this chicken thigh into two Ziploc bags and dump these in there. That's what we're gonna do. And then for the chicken breasts that I have here, um, we are just going to use, I found in my fridge, no joke, no joke, two opened Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Two opened. So we're gonna take these with the chicken breast and freeze it together because then we can throw all this in the slow cooker and we can have shredded barbecue chicken sandwiches, yummy. Put that on your bun with some coleslaw on top or you could do it in a wrap. All right, that's what we're gonna do. That's the changes, those things happen, but we're good to go. So let's get started on um, this bone-in skin on chicken thighs. Okay, so I'm gonna write on both these bags, bone-in skin on chicken thigh, Italian, like Italian chicken thighs, so. And I'll do the same thing on this bag. Now I know I'm gonna get comments of, you don't wash your chicken? No. I have read so many conflicting articles on washing your chicken versus not washing your chicken. As long as you're getting it up to temperature, you're fine. If it seems a little off to you, rinse it off. But I've heard and read conflicting things on it. I put the other half of that zesty Italian bottle in, and now we're gonna put in the Robusto. So we've got Kraft and Wishbone becoming friends. Seal that off as best as I can. Get that air out. I love marinated Italian chicken on the grill. Oh, so good. And then of course, when you put it on the grill, you can add like salt and pepper if you want to add a little more seasoning to it. But I can't wait to have that crispy skin. Mm. I'm excited for all the summer barbecue meals. I think this is number nine, you guys. I'm trying to catch up on my cooking, on my numbers here. So, I think we're at number nine. Italian chicken for the grill, ready to go in the freezer. Okay, I'm gonna put these breasts right into this bag. These will end up doing in the slow cooker. I mean, you could do it in the Instapot, but I'd rather do my slow cooker. Whatever, we'll see what how I feel when it comes to time to cook it. On my bag, I already put barbecue chicken breasts in here and I put sandwiches so we know that this is what that is for. You guys like sweet baby rays? Oh, I love sweet baby rays, so good. The Hughes one that we use is good and this one is good too. All right, I have our barbecued chicken for our shredded barbecue chicken sandwiches. Yum, this will be put in the slow cooker. We went from 10 freezer meals down to nine. That's okay, that is amazing. So we have the barbecue sh chicken breast for shredded barbecue chicken sandwiches. This is two, this is one meal here. I mean, if I wanted to break it down to two, if there's a small group of us, great. That could be 10 meals, but this will feed the whole family. And this is the Italian uh, chicken thighs, the bone and skin on. And then the barbecue, hickory barbecue drumsticks for grilling, yum. Mississippi chicken, um, teriyaki chicken breast. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be so good. We have the drumsticks, the Caribbean jerk to grill up. Oh, that's gonna be yummy. And then the tater tot casserole. And then the two flank steaks, this is the um, the garlic and cracked pepper one, and then this is Italian. So we have nine meals for the summer. When we get back from our vacation, 
when we're hitting the grind, we're good to go. All right, I have nine summer freezer meals ready for us when we get back from our vacation. I'm so excited to have my freezer filled up. We'll go through those meals really fast. Then I'm gonna start up some more summer freezer meals when I get back once we go through these. And of course, I'll take you along with me. Um, my goal is while we're in North Carolina to do some freezer meals with my sister. She would like to fill up her freezer and I was like, I got you covered and she lives near an Aldi's which I wish we had here in Utah so we're gonna do some Aldi's freezer meals so stay tuned for that I hope this encouraged you to go through your freezer what do you already have in there that you can create a freezer meal with all right it is late I am tired I'm gonna get all this stuff in the freezer clean up and head to bed because tomorrow we start packing and I'm going to take you guys along with me so stay tuned all right friends thank you so much and I hope you enjoyed this video leave a comment down below I would love to know your thoughts what you do I know I asked a lot of questions during the video so I can't wait to read your answers thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you soon bye